Hi everybody, in this video, let's learn how do we use calculator, uh, Casio calculator, model FX570EX or FX991EX to help us to check the answer for the probability of a standard normal distribution. All this answer, I got it by using this table. So you need to learn how to use this table to help you to get the answer. But we also can use our calculator to check the answer. Okay, first press menu, press menu, then go to 7, or you can just press 7. Now, we need to use normal cumulative distribution. Okay, so in this situation, we want to find the probability of z greater than 1.653. So the lower bound, you just, the lower value, you just key in 1.653. Okay, press equal. Upper bound, you just key in a very really large value. Nice time, 10 to the power of 99. Okay, so this is, since this is standard normal distribution, so make sure the standard deviation is 1, and the mu, which is mean, is 0. Okay, press equal. This is the answer, 0 0.049165 and so on. Okay, so if you are using your calculator, you will get more decimal places. Now, let's go to question number two. Okay, what do we need to do is just change the lower bound and the upper bound. So this is probability of z less than negative 0.325. So for the lower bound, we just key in a really small number, negative 9 times 10 to the power of 99. Okay, the upper bound will be negative 0.325. Okay, so the standard deviation should be no problem, 1 and 0, press equal. So this is the answer, 0 0.3726. Okay, now let's go to question number 3. We want to find the property of z is greater than 0, less than 1.124. So the lower bound will be 0. The upper bound will be 1.124. Okay, so make sure the standard deviation, if you do not change it, so it will always remain uh, 1 and 0, as what you key in just now. Okay, press equal. So this is the answer. Okay, let's go to question number 4. We want to find the probability of z greater than negative, zero, uh, negative 1.124 and less than 0. Okay, lower bound will be negative 1.124. Upper bound will be 0. Press equal. Okay, so this is answer 0 0.3694. Okay, so this is a way how do we use this model of calculator to help us to check the answer. Sometimes quick, the question might ask you this way, given that probability of z is greater than a value, we don't know the value, is equal to 0 0.0492. So what is the value of this c? So we can actually use this calculator to help us to check the answer. Okay, so what do we need to do? Just press the menu, choose number seven, then we will be using this function, inverse normal. Okay, so the calculator will ask us to key in the area. What does this mean? The area is the area of the left tail, so which means here. We want to key in the area here. So the probability of p of uh, probability of z greater than c is equal to this. This means here is 0 0.0492. So here will be 1 minus 0 0.0492, right? So what do we need to do is just key in this value. We will be able to get this number. We know that the C is actually 1.653. Okay, let's see how do we use our calculator. 1 minus 0 0.0492, 0 0.0492. So make sure the standard deviation is 1 because this is standard normal distribution. Standard deviation 1 mean is equal to 0. 
Okay, press equal. Okay, so we got the answer. 1.653. If you round off this answer, it will be 1.653. Okay, now let's go to the second question. Now we know the C is actually equal to negative 0.325, right? So how do we use our calculator to get this answer? So this is the diagram. So still remember just now what I told you, we want to key in the area for the left tail. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. The area will be this. The area here will be 0 0.327, uh, 3726. So what we need to do, just key in this area. 0 0.32, uh, 37. 3726 and make sure the standard deviation is 1 the mean is 0 because in this situation this is standard normal distribution okay after keying this just press equal two times then you get the answer negative 0 0.325 okay so this is a way how we use this calculator to help us to solve this sub question thanks for watching see you next time bye bye